Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to test the Bjornborg Dane all wood tennis racket. And it's going to be interesting to see how much my playing level deteriorates by using outdated equipment. I made another video a while back where I play tested four rackets going back in the years. It started with a modern racket and ended with the aluminum Wilson T2000, the racket that Jimmy Connors used to play with. And in that video, you can see that my playing level went down a lot going to the aluminum racket and I suspect that it's going to go down even more by using a wooden racket. Now the reason why I chose the Donne all wood because I'm a huge Bjorn Borg fan and I'm going to make a tribute to Bjorn Borg who is one of the greatest tennis players that's ever lived. He's the father of the modern forehand and I'm making a tribute to Bjorn Borg by wearing his exact outfit. And guys I've played with wooden rackets before and they're very difficult to use mainly because of the small racket head size that is the number one problem with the wooden racket and number two problem is that wobbly feeling and when you hit a ball because the racket is extremely flexible obviously because it's made out of wood now the particular racket that i'm using is not in good shape it's very difficult to find these rackets uh, in good shape because the wood obviously deteriorates and this particular racket is pretty even but i have some other ones that are kind of warped and bent so this is the best one that i could find online and so far it's actually hitting pretty good oh. generally when i play wooden rackets my backhand is more of an issue than my forehand i don't know the exact reasons why i find that slicing the ball with the backhand is okay hitting a forehand is okay but hitting two-handed backhands is very challenging and guys it's going to be super interesting to see how much my level drops with the wooden racket i'm playing against milan who was a former division two player a high level player who was one of the best juniors in the country of croatia and i honestly don't think i stand a chance with this racket i'll be honest with you but i can promise you that i'm going to give it my best i'm going to fight hard and let's see what happens The biggest difficulty I'm having so far is not the fact that I can't really generate any power, but rather this racket throat is just like a mono racket throat. I'm just not used to it. And I quite frankly don't know what to do with my left hand in between the shots. So it's just going to take a little bit of getting used to.
The thing is I have to work extra hard to set the ball up. And especially when I'm not set up when I'm in emergency situations, I got absolutely nothing, for example, on the run. So I got to work harder. I got to have more intensity, better footwork, and I got to try to figure out a way to get my serves in. All right, this was over so quickly. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna play a second set. Let's see what I can do here. I finally got a game. One of my strategies is not to take any breaks and tire him out. But I think it's backfiring because I'm not getting exhausted. But I'm going to keep fighting. That was a good game. Exhausted now. I got him right where I want him. Woo.
So what I started doing on my back end, which seems to be working a little better, is letting go Bjorn Borg style. So I don't finish with both hands, I let go do like a hybrid two-handed backhand where I'm finishing with one hand but stay with two hands at the contact. That seems to be working better. I touched the net actually. I did. It's your point, man. We have to give respect to Bjorn Borg as one of the greatest players to ever play the game. If he would have continued to play, if he didn't retire so young, I believe that he could have won many, many Grand Slams. He could have, in my opinion, easily gotten 20 Grand Slams. This is how good of a player he was. But it's not only that. The way he was able to play the modern game with this racket, is simply mind-boggling. I had such a difficult time playing with this racket and if you look up tape of Bjorn Borg you can see how well he was serving, how well he was uh, creating top spin with this racket. He was even coming to the net at times. It is simply breathtaking the type of tennis that he was able to play with equipment like this.